YouTube, back at it again. It's your boy Scrappy Locks with another video. Today's video, I wanna talk about two things. First, the pineapple top, and then second, dealing with frizziness in your locks. I'm combining both these subjects because I really don't feel like I can talk about either in depth for like a full video and not just have it be like a tiny little video. So I'm gonna combine both of those into one. But before I start, I wanna give a really big shout out to uh, uh, Corey and Brianna Roberts. They hit me up on Instagram and we went back and forth chopping it up a little bit uh, in the DMs. And so they asked me for a shout out. So here you guys are, Corey, Brianna Roberts. I appreciate y'all, uh, stay locked. All right, so <clears throat> first the pineapple top. Uh, I don't really even know there's anything to say. Like, uh, I had somebody, and I really can't remember who it is, otherwise I'd be giving them a shout-out too, asked me to make a video showing my pineapple top. Um, this is the one I have right now. Uh, I don't have the front, my front locks pulled into it. Um, I actually kind of prefer not to pull my front locks back too often. I've done it before. I don't feel like it looks very good, but also, um, I'm like deathly afraid of pulling out the front hairs and then having them like not ever grow back and having receding hairline. So, cause I already have a bad hairline as it is. I was born with it at birth. I have a crooked hairline. So I don't want to make it more crooked. You know what I mean? So I only pull back the uh, the ones behind my first row of locks on my hairline. Uh, but yeah, this is, the, this is the pineapple here. I'll give you guys a quick side view. It kind of like leans forward, you know? Uh, so yeah, that's that on the pineapple. Uh, and then uh, there's other ways to do them. I know other guys, I've seen like I had this, uh, uh, one dude walked by me the other day on this on the strip on Vegas strip and walked by me and uh, He had his sides pulled up and stuff, too. So maybe I'll mess around with that at some point as well um, But yeah, that's pretty much it on the pineapple top and then um, Number two and this is really why I want to make the video So I want to talk about real quick about something that I've been thinking about a lot lately Which is frizziness in your locks and frizziness during your lock journey so I'm at a year locked um, and most of you guys know I talked about it if you've watched my uh, one year update uh, already then you know I already mentioned it in that update if you haven't watched that go watch that now and then come back to this but um, man it's like when you have frizziness in your locks it, one of two things will cross your mind either oh well you know it is what it is or you start worrying about it and start fretting about it and you know um, I've read there's a bunch of different techniques to take care of it, so I wanted to talk real quick about my technique. For me, when I when I'm like when I look at like frizziness on my locks, uh, I kind of just try to like put it out of my mind for the most part. Um, like when my locks eject a ton of hair out of nowhere, uh, I think the one thing that I do try to do that I do on a regular basis is like if I see that they eject a ton of hair, I'll make a little dread ball out of it, so there's not a bunch of loose poofy hair sticking off. But otherwise, I kind of just leave them alone and let them do what they're gonna do. I think frizziness is just something that everybody has to deal with. I've seen some videos about some people talking about, you know, you gotta wait a couple more years, you know, you get a couple more years in the game, then that's really when the uh, the frizziness starts to lay down. And then I've seen other people say that it never really stopped because it depends on your hair uh, tight, you know what I mean? So I would just say if you're dealing with frizziness, you're either going to maintain and you run the risk of maybe damaging your locks trying to abate frizziness. Um, or accept it and let it be. Honestly, it's a regular part of the lock journey. You're not going through anything that nobody else has already gone through. You know what I mean? I've had frizziness since day one and it hasn't stopped since then. And I'll probably have frizziness, you know, day 1095. I'll probably still have frizziness on my locks. Uh, you know, I don't think that's ever gonna stop. I mean, you look at a guy like Not Locks, uh, Jonathan Craig, he has, frizziness on his locks and he's like what three years in the game now and he's got frizziness on his locks so betray you another guy he's got frizziness on his locks and he maintains and he still has a little bit of frizziness from time to time on his locks so it's something i think that every single person experiences at some point in their lock journey some of us are cursed to have to deal with it from the beginning probably all the way up until the end whenever you're decide you know it's time for the chop um, and some people get lucky you know you, sometimes you guys you know we obsess about certain people's locks and the way they look and oh man you know this rapper his locks look you know perfect they look like this they don't have any frizziness you know what i mean i've said this in the past don't compare your locks to their locks because everybody's crown is going to be unique everybody's hair is going to be doing different things and if you're focusing on everybody else's journey you'll forget to enjoy yours so that's my takeaway all right and i'm gonna leave you guys with that focus on your own journey and don't worry about anybody else's because 
If you do that, you're gonna lose sight of your own journey and you're not gonna enjoy yours anymore. And it won't be something that's relaxing, it won't be something where you learn patience. It's just gonna be something that you stress about all the time. And well, why would you wanna add extra stress to your life? Life is stressful as it is, I should know. So that's it y'all, just a real quick short video. Um, if you like this video, leave me a like. Uh, hit me up on Instagram with any comments, uh, any questions, you know, hit me up down here in the comments if you guys feel like it with any questions, any video requests, I'm down, you know, for whatever, whatever video requests you guys got. But this is me signing out. Scrappy Locks, one love to the Lock Nation. Peace.